if you plug C2 back in here, now you get velocity profile. You should notice that there are common terms like this pressure difference, 2 mu L and 2 here, would be a common term. So I'm going to take it out. Inside, this one is positive, this one is negative, so I'm going to take this one up. It would be r squared minus small r squared. And it would be a little bit prettier if you do this. I'm going to take r squared out, out here. Inside would be 1 minus r divided by capital R squared. So turn this term to be um, dimensionless. By doing that, by doing this kind of rearrangement, you can say it right away that the whole term here would equal to Vz and maximum, right? Because it would be maximum at r equal to zero. And Vz would turn to be zero at r here equal to capital R. This one cancel out becomes zero, everything becomes zero. So according to that equation, you see that velocity here is a parabolic function with respect to r. So this r squared is maximum at the center is zero in the wall. So it looks something like this. This is vz as a function of r. Okay. Noted here. Now, if you look comparing velocity in the center and velocity a little bit further from the center. Velocity here would be higher than here. Normally, momentum is transported from high velocity to low velocity, right? So direction of momentum transport should go this direction, okay? Direction of momentum transport is going from the center toward outside. So therefore, it's going in positive R direction. Okay? The velocity itself, or direction of the momentum, going in Z direction. So it's going in positive C direction. Now, Momentum is a tensor. Momentum flux is a tensor. Tau RC here is tensor. Okay? It has two dimensions. In this particular problem, both of them are positive. So therefore, the, your tensor tau RC is supposed to be positive. So both R direction and Z direction are positive. So therefore, tau rz would be positive as well. You can see it's going down along z direction. These two parts are positive number. Okay. Then last thing that you can do 
would be finding the average velocity. The average velocity would be integration of velocity across the area, across the cross section area, divided by cross section area itself. Okay? So you integrate twice of your VZ. You integrate with respect to what? Rn R N you integrate, remember, you integrate to find the cross section area. So you integrate from center to R and integrate all the air, all the angle. Okay? So zero to R, zero to two pi. D theta, I'm sorry. D R D theta. But according to calculus, if you want to integrate the volume in cylindrical coordinate, you must multiply by r as well. Just like this. The area is integrate of r dr d theta. 0 to r, 0 to 2 pi. If you integrate down here, you get pi r squared. Okay? So you bring that velocity profile down here, multiply by another r, integrate it twice, which is not difficult at all because it's only one r left. If you rearrange the equation, you get half of the maximum. All right, any question? All right, if there's no other question, that's it for today. See you on Friday.